sync. Hey guys, uh, it's been a while since we've had spoilers, uh, around a month and a half, I think. Anyways, um, yeah, we're gonna, you know, they're doing a new spoiler uh, schedule. Uh, spoilers every day for five days. Um, we in America and the United States are going to get um, ours, I think, Sunday through Thursday. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Um, anyways, I'm going to be trying to, you know, get spoilers out to you guys every... Uh, we're going to try and do a schedule like every day, um, you know, put out a short video. We're only getting four cards per spoiler day. So that's going to be pretty interesting. But uh, obviously, you know, there might be days that I might not be able to make it or, you know, something might come up. We're not really sure, but yeah, especially, you know, Thanksgiving, um, the day after Thanksgiving for sure. Um, but anyways, we'll just kind of see how it goes, play it by ear. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy the next couple, you know, next couple weeks with me, Joe, from Joe's Corner. Anyways, let's get into the spoilers. Um, first, we've got... Our main man, the Archmage Demon King himself, uh, Ma Mao Sama. <laughs> uh, well, sir, the Archmage. Archmage? The Archmage. Now, people are saying that Well, sir, was a thing already, I think, in Force Will. I didn't do any research at all, so I don't know about that. But as a ruler, he's pretty cool. So his judgment is five of every color white red blue green black uh he has a red energize and his abilities are rest the recovered magic crest you control produce one will of an attribute shared with the magic crest rested this way spend this will only to play this card's judgment to do this card's judgment and a second ability is you may pay the attribute cost of wicked spirits and magic crests with fire will so it seems like this guy is a little bit locked into fire um one of the ways you can do his judgment is by uh, resting your magic, different magic crests. Um, so it seems like he's probably going to be based around magic crest and wicked spirits, which will be interesting to see what kind of guys we get um, going into these spoilers. But already, you know, I think it's pretty interesting. Um, very similar to, you know, um, like some of the ancient magic guys. Um, his judgment is a little high, a little expensive, but. Already, I'm already kind of liking him. Let's see what his uh, judgment does. So his judgment, he becomes Welser, King of Demons. He's a 15-15, which is pretty huge. Um, when this card enters the field, you may put a Wicked Spirit Resonator from your hand into the field. There's probably going to be some pretty good Wicked Spirits. So already, that's probably pretty good. This card gains swiftness as long as there are three or more different attributes among all Magic Crests you control. So since he is going to be magic based, uh, magic crest based, you probably will be running magic crest with him, which means you'll probably have swiftness most of, most of the time, especially since you rest those to get to judgment. Um, now, it's going to be interesting because you probably will go a dual color, uh, like maybe a dual color or tricolor deck, and then the other two magic stones or uh, magic crest. Oh boy. The other magic crest will be how you deactivate, but um, since you can pay them with red, you really can go, you know, two colors and then splash for uh, other magic crest colors. So that'll be interesting. Um, he so he gains imperishable precision as long as there are five or more different attributes among all gems you control. So this is interesting because. Um, gems are, you know, more panda based and more light based. So he could probably slot into something like red, white. Seems like a very default, easy color for him to go into. This just in, we have breaking news from the Forcible Facebook group. Apparently, Wessler is supposed to work off of magic crests, not gems. So the imperishable and the precision you get if you have all five types of magic crest, which is way better. He's like way better now, but okay. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna cut this into the video and it's gonna be great. Um, 
and the impenetrable precision is really good. If you know if you can get this guy out as a 15-15 with, you know, already he's got swiftness, uh, impenetrable and precision. You know, if you can get all that together and assembled, he's going to be a beast. His last ability, which is his best ability, in my opinion, when this card enters the field or whenever he attacks, your opponent puts three minus one minus one counters on each J resonator they control. Minus 100, minus 100, sorry. Um, this is pretty amazing because it means when he comes in, he does minus, you know, minus 300, minus 300 to the entire board. And then usually hopefully you have swiftness. So now you can swing in and now they've got a minus 600, minus 600 to their entire board. It's gonna be really hard killing this guy with minus three, minus three, and minus six, minus six on your guys. So I think that's probably the best part of him because if you can get a good like lock going, oh, he just becomes ridiculously strong. But I really think he's pretty cool. Uh, it'll be interesting to see what kind of decks people can brew. Already, I would consider running him with the swiftness and the uh, minus 100, minus 100, the three 100, minus 100, minus 100 counters. Because already I think that's a totally worthwhile ability. You don't really, really even really need to do gems for this guy. You know, that might be, be just butter, but I think just for the Magic Crest, he's probably gonna be pretty good. Next, we've got uh, Fire Majin. It's very similar to the uh, previous white Majin spoilers. He's a 4-4, he's a Wicked Spirit. So um, he has Crest Red. So this card gains a following text as long as you control a fire magic crest. When this card enters a field, it deals 600 damage to target player or J Resonator. Now I think this is a really great card. Um, it's a little unfortunate that it has to have Crest to you know really show its worth, but I think this is super solid. It's pretty much a one drop 4-4 four four with a lightning strike, you know, plus one on it. And I think that's really valuable. Um, depending on how, you know, the kind of Fire Magic Crest support we can get, I think this is going to be a pretty great card. Um, you know, probably we'll see playing like some kind of mid-range burn things. I don't think it's really fast enough because ideally you're going to have to have a Fire Magic Crest out before you get his full effect. So a lot of upside though. I think this is a pretty great card. It's going to be great. Next we got Magic Crest of Fire. It's a two cost addition Magic Crest. So this is the red Magic Crest we're talking about. And when this card enters the field, it deals 600 damage to target Resonator. On its own, I think it's kind of garbage, but it's completely mediocre. Um, because it's a Magic Crest, you know, and it enables the uh, Fire Majin and some other stuff, possibly, hopefully, we'll see. but. I think this card is bad, but I think the Magic Crest support could make it perfectly fine. I just hope there's better Fire Magic Crest editions because I think the the White Magic Crest edition was great. You know, four one one counters spread out, um, a little expensive too. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Uh, yeah, we only got four, so Walser is pretty good though. I'm looking forward to him. Anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully this was kind of a shorter video since we only had four cards to spoil and I hope I don't ramble on too long. But uh, looking forward to tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. Later.